Shoes are shoes, right? Well, not quite. When it comes to running shoes, we need to take a little more care if we want them to last longer and to get the most out of them. So here is a little guide on how to maintain your running shoes. So what should you do about the mud? Well, if you're running off-road or in the mud regularly, then you may want to invest in an extra pair of running shoes or some that are suited to off-road running. Now, off-road running shoes do tend to be a little more hard wearing, they have better grip, so you won't be quite so precious about them getting muddy. And personally, I wouldn't worry about getting the little specks of mud off the shoes. That's just part and parcel of running. But for those big chunks of mud, you may be tempted to throw them in the washing machine. Just don't do it. The heat involved along with the repeated spinning can distort the soles, affect the cushioning and reduce the lifespan of the trainer. Simply put, the trainer that you put in the washing machine certainly won't be the trainer that you pull out. Instead, whilst the mud is wet straight after the run, you should spray them down with the hose or under the tap. And to remove the final surface dirt, you can use an old toothbrush or an old nail brush. Now be careful not to be too vigorous, just enough to remove the dirt. And then if you need to, you can use a little bit of warm water and a tiny bit of soap to help. There's no avoiding getting your trainers wet from time to time, especially if you just clean them. But how you dry them is really important. So there's a few things that you should avoid doing, whacking them in the tumble dryer. That's a big no. Similar to the washing machine, the heat involved can really distort the trainers, especially the soles. The heat can really expand the soles. Then there's the radiator. I'll be honest, I fall foul to this. It can seem so convenient just to chuck the trainers on the top of a scorching radiator, but be careful it's not too hot because it will damage the trainers. It can really affect the upper material if it dries out and then it crisps up, and I've had it tear when I've next used the trainers. So here's what I would suggest. Firstly, you want to try and dry your shoes out naturally. I understand that's easier said than done, especially if you're in the middle of the winter when nothing seems to dry out. So here's what I do to give it a helping hand. You'll need some newspaper or something similar like this that's gonna soak up any moisture. Now most shoes will allow you to take the insole out and providing there's nothing special about the insoles, I've never had an issue with drying these on the radiator. Alternatively, you can wrap these in newspaper and actually by taking them out and drying them fully, they will help keep your trainers smelling a little more fresh. Then using the remaining paper, you can scrunch it up into balls and stuff them inside your trainers. You can leave them in the sunlight to dry, in a warm place or under the radiator. Now it can be very tempting to just kick your shoes off at the end of a run without untying the laces. Mark Ralfour, untie your laces. Sorry, Mum. But without untying the laces, you're actually risking weakening the heel and the heel collar. Now essentially the heel collar holds your foot in the shoe and stops it from slipping out. Now, I've actually learned the hard way on this and trust me it gets really annoying when your foot does actually start slipping out of the shoe. And it actually left me with a rather juicy blister on one of my heels. Needless to say I end up having to buy a new pair of running shoes a lot sooner than I should have. A costly mistake. Now it may have sounded like a daft subject on how to maintain your running shoes, but hopefully a few of those tips will help you get a little more life and enjoyment out of your running shoes. Now if you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to GTN for free to see more videos from us. And if you want to see how to choose a running shoe video, just click down here and see our essential winter training tips video, just click down there.